Hello and welcome to this episode of the EPG Accelerator series. In this video, you will learn how to implement and use property sets in EPG. A property set is a custom collection of key value pairs that store data. API proxy and shared flows can retrieve this data when they execute. These key value pairs are stored into a properties file as shown on the following example. In this example, the name of the file is myprops.properties and it contains seven key value pairs. As an example, foo is a key and bar is the value for the foo key. Typically, you use property sets to store non expiring data that shouldn't be hard coded in your API proxy logic. You can access property set data anywhere in a proxy where you can access flow variables. In the following example, you can access the value of the foo key using the flow variable property set dot myprops dot foo. Some other important things to know about property sets. First, you can scope a property set to an API proxy revision or environment when you create the property set. You cannot scope a property set to an EPG organization. Second, Property set files are resource files of type properties that you can manage through the APG UI or the APG API. Last but not least, property set files support the same syntax as Java properties files. As mentioned in this video, you can access property sets variables from the policies where you can access flow variables like JavaScript policy, extract variable policy, assign message policy. The following example, based on the resource extract of a JavaScript policy, gets the value of the foo property from the property set named myprops. Let me show you how you can deploy a basic example of a property set on your APG organization. Let's begin. Go to the Google Cloud Platform and APG Samples Git repo and enter the property set sample. In order to run this sample, you need the following. An EPGX instance with access configured for external traffic. As a user, you need permissions to deploy an API proxy. This can be granted to, you, to the APG org admin role or the API and developer admin roles. To deploy the sample, you also need the command line tools shown here. If you are using Google Cloud Shell, these tools are already installed. We have included a Google Cloud Shell tutorial that you can simply click to quickly get started. Now that you're in the Cloud Shell environment, you can follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. First, make sure you're logged in with the right account. Then change to the directory for this sample. To deploy the sample, first open up the env.sh file and set the configuration to reference your APG organization, environment and external host name. Next, run the included script to deploy the sample to your APG instance. This might take a minute to complete. When the script completes, you should see a message showing the API proxy URL. Now run the curl command and notice the values in the output. You should see a JSON payload whose content has been set based on values extracted from a property set. Two custom headers have also been set based on the same property set. Now that you have seen the API proxy in action, let's look at how it is configured in APG. You can access the APG UI directly from the Google Cloud Console. Look for the property set API proxy. Select the proxy and go to the Develop tab. You see two policies defined and two resource files of type properties and JavaScript. The properties file, named myprops, contains keys that are used by the JavaScript and assigned message policies. First, 
the JavaScript policy gets two values from the property set and set these two values as custom response headers x baz and x note. Then, an assigned message policy uses flow variables to set a custom payload based on the same property set using different keys and values. The JavaScript and assigned message policies are examples on how to use flow variables to get values of keys defined in a property set. When you're done with the sample, you can provide us with your feedback and then you can use the cleanup script to delete the configuration that was deployed to your APG organization. We hope you found this sample useful and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the APG Accelerator series. If you have questions, please post them on the APG community. Thanks for watching.